volume is measured by how many cubic units it would take to fill a given space. The cube shaded green is a cubic unit. The amount of cubic units it takes to fill a defined space is what we call volume. The shown geometric solid is a rectangular prism. To find the volume of any rectangular prism, we simply multiply the length times the width times the height. The length and the width of the rectangular prism are always at the bottom of the shape. These two dimensions make up the base of the rectangular prism. In this case, the length is 4 and the width is 3. Multiplying the length times the width will give you the area of the prism's base. This is a two-dimensional measurement. After multiplying the length times the width and getting the area of the rectangular prism's base, by multiplying it by the rectangular prism's height, that will give us the volume. Multiplying the area of the prism's base by the height is filling up the prism or adding depth. This is what gives our rectangular prism a third dimension, or gives it volume. We can clearly see when multiplying the length times the width of the rectangular prism, we come up with 12 square units, which would be the area of the rectangular prism's base. Remember, this is only a two-dimensional measurement. To give it depth or volume, we must now multiply the area of the rectangular prism's base of 12 by whatever the height is to fill up the rectangular prism or to add depth or volume. If we multiply the area of the base, which is 12, by a height of 1, that would give us 12 cubic units, which would be how many cubes it would take to make one level of our rectangular prism. Adding two levels of 12, we would get a total of 24 cubic units. Three levels of 12 would give us 36. Four levels of 12 give us 48 cubic units. And of course, five levels of 12 would give us 60 cubic units. We could say that each level of the rectangular prism contains 12 cubes. There are five levels of 12 cubes for a total of 60.